All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your videos using the AB file instead of the AA file. So if you're like me, your computer's not very fast. So using the AA file can take a while to load your videos into your editor. So if you look here, the AA file for this one is 2.46 gigabytes and the AB file, which is your FPV file, which is a lot smaller, is only 60 megabytes. So what we can do is use this file to edit it and then swap it out with the bigger file. And I'll show you how to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is move that AA file into a different folder. And I just made one called AA. So now I just have the AB file in the folder. So I'm using VideoPad for this. And what I'll do here is put that AB file in just to show you what happens. And I'll put the AA file in also. See how it took a lot longer to load it into the editor. And also whenever I load it up into my timeline, watch how long it takes for it to start loading up. And I'll make it to where here is 30 seconds. And the green bar shows how much of the video is actually loaded into the editor right now and it's taken a while. Okay, so let's stop this. I'll delete it and then add the AB file. Do the same thing. I'm already up over a minute 30, minute 40. So it loads a lot faster in this editor. And of course it is a uh, very grainy, but we can go ahead and use this to edit and I'll show you how accurate it is. So what I'll do here is see that sign on the right, right here. I'll go ahead and put that right to the bottom and hit split. So we'll start the video there and then I'll have it end. And there's a bush right here. I'll go ahead and put the bush to the bottom of the video hit split again that's where it should end and then I'll start another one let's see where we at so there's a circular building on the right on the left I'll go ahead and put that right to the bottom hit split delete this middle part and then choose another spot Let's go here and then we'll choose another spot. See this bush right here. We'll go to the bottom of that tree. There we go and hit split and then delete this. So if I move this over, so if I look, my video should start right at the bottom of the sign and then my next break right at the bottom of this circular building and then the next one right at the bottom of this bush so i'll go ahead i've done my editing i'm using the ab file here so i'll go ahead and save the project now I'll just name it xeno edit Okay, now I'll delete that AA file that I had in here in my editor and then close this. And now I'll go back into the files that I had and go up here to the AB file or to the AA file and change that to AB because that's the one we were using in the editor. And then copy that, or we'll just go ahead and cut it. And then where the AB file is here, the original, see how it's 60 meg, we'll delete it. And then paste the AA file that we converted to AB here and see it's 246 gig. So now when I load up my editor, it looks for the AB file that we was editing before, but I have changed the AA file to be AB 
So now it's going to be the 2.46 gig file instead of the other one. Okay, so now I have my video pad open back up. I'll open up the file again. And there we go. It says AB. Let's go to properties. It's the AB file. It loaded successfully. And notice the image is a lot better on here because I'm using the normal video file, not the FPV file. But I've already done all my editing. It took a lot less time to do. I can go ahead and just let it load, but I don't have to edit it right now. And I'll show you that it did work. If I go to the front, to the beginning of the video, and I told you the bottom right sign is what we were starting to edit. And I go to the next break point, the bottom of the circular building. And the next part that I stopped was the bottom of this tree. So the FPV signal, the AB and the standard video signal AA are on the same timeline. So you can use that lower quality um, video file to edit your videos in whatever editor you're using. And then go ahead and when you load it back up after closing it and you've changed the file name, you'll go ahead and load up the bigger file and be ready to go and don't have to do all that editing with the big video files. All right, that's it. Just wanted to show you a quick tip on how to edit your Xeno videos easily with a slower computer. And as always, please like and subscribe and stay tuned. See you next time. Thanks for watching.